first thing to recognize is that our bodies are self-healing and self-regulating. So that means that we're already born to heal. Don't be concerned about the technical term subluxation. It just means that there's a misalignment of one or both of these top two bones in the top of your spine, the atlas or the axis. So you don't have to be concerned about the term. What you do need to be concerned about is if you have a subluxation and the negative impact that it's having on your body. One third of the nerves up here produce pain when they're pinched. Two thirds of them don't. So you see, two thirds of the people are walking around like this saying, I don't need a chiropractor, I feel fine, okay? And they feel fine because the body has produced certain chemicals to deaden the nerves. Otherwise, we would all have just unrelenting pain. And so these hidden subluxations, sadly enough, are as common as cavities. Picture if you have an electrical panel in your garage that runs electricity to your entire house. If the, one, the switches down below run, you flip those breaker switches, they run power to the regions of the house, but that main power switch turns on power to the entire thing. So if you don't get these two bones back in alignment in this upper cervical spine, it's like that main power switch. You're not getting in, that information to that entire house. Your body can't function or heal par properly. The challenge that you have with vertebral subluxations is the fact that the vertebra is, is just not moving and it's crushing and compressing the nerves. And the end result is, is that the, the person can start spiraling downhill, especially if they're using a lot of pharmacological agents because there isn't a drug in the world that's going to move the atlas back into position. And so that's one of the unique dynamics of upper cervical care. An upper cervical care doctor is not chasing after pain or symptoms, they're going right for the cause of that disease or ailment, which is the subluxation. And we're talking about precise corrections here, sometimes millimeters, sometimes even a fraction of a millimeter. That one, that particular one millimeter at the atlas, that particular one millimeter could cause you to have asthma. It could cause you to have reflux. It could cause your heart to not work properly. That one millimeter affects your nervous system. And because the nervous system controls everything, that's why that has such a powerful impact. When your top vertebra dislodges, the rest of the bones all the way down the spine go out of alignment. It's called spinal compensation. When you put the top one back in, through muscle memory, the muscles literally pull the rest of the vertebra in. It's called spinal decompensation. And as those changes take place, the neurological pathways come back to life and the body virtually mends itself. And this is why we chiropractors say that we don't cure anything. It's the body that does the curing. Initiating treatment, we observed three things. One, a very visible distortion pattern in the spine. Two, compromised blood flow in the arteries and three, compromise nerve function from the body to notice the gentle repositioning of the vertebrae. We also begin to see restoration of the structure of the back to its normal form, increased blood flow, and functional restoration of the very crucial central nervous system. These same sound waves resonate down the spine, and with close observation, one can see the movement across the middle and lower back and down the hip. Blood vessels and neural communication is stimulated initiating the body's self-healing process. Atlas is misaligned, the and hips are also misaligned. Let's look at Heidi's before and after x-rays right. because she was clearly misaligned before these pr procedures were right. done. Here's the position of the atlas that is unlevel and the cervical spine has shifted away from where it should be. And here's the post-adjustment x-ray with the atlas down level, center of the head above the center of the neck so that the brain tissue can communicate with the body. And a little trivia, if you're ever asked this in Trivial Pursuit, the way you remember that it's Atlas, that's the first bone in the neck. Atlas is the Greek god who holds the world on his shoulders. That's how we learned it in medical school. Absolutely. So you never forget it. Yeah.